Hello everyone, this is my latest build. It is a Kenworth W900A. I built it, I just finished building it yesterday actually. So this truck I have been working on for about a couple months now. I had this grill designed for probably maybe three months now. And I was just trying to figure out how to get the hood hinges working. So the hinges are actually flush with the hood, not set back on my older truck, which was a huge issue when opening the hood. This way, it's just like the real real trucks where it opens up nicely and swings out in front of the bumper, which gives them enough clearance. I've reused lots of the same components as my other truck. Steps, tanks, and air filters. Same with the exhaust. This truck does not have working lights just yet. Oh, my other truck did. I don't know if I'll be adding it to this one. This is a, it has all wheel drive in the back. So it's not just a, it's a full tandem is what I'm trying to say. And then on the back here, I have the IR receiver just sitting there, as well as the on and off switch. If you just flick this up, it turns the truck on. I will probably be adding interior to it later, but for now it does not have any. And this is full RC as my other builds are. It does have working steering and a working fake engine as well as uh, tandem drive in the back. Oops, there goes the emblem. So, there's the fake engine I made. It it isn't so unrealistic, but it just, I kind of added just whatever onto it to make it look more, not look so basic. I just added little wheels everywhere and kind of just make it look like there's actually something going on in there when there, in reality, there is not. Oops. And the pistons do turn on it as well. I am very happy with this truck. It is, it has done a lot. To me, it looks a lot better than my previous truck, which my previous truck was based on a Peterbilt 379. Well, this truck is based on a Kenworth W900A. They look very similar in my opinion. The grill and stuff like that are quite different. But generally, they have very similar shapes. My previous truck had full red on it, which I was going to do on this truck also. But I had I have some white, so I thought I'd add a white stripe in there. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, Drivetrain is 2L motors. It's just a 1 to 1 ratio. Um, I probably could gear it down a bit. But I kind of like the speed. I do have an automatic high and low transmission sitting here from my previous truck, which I was going to add also, but I just couldn't find the space. I probably could if I redid a couple things, but I'm happy with the way it sits now. Um, my previous truck also had full suspension on, on it. It had a, uh, like a live tandem on the back where they work together with rockers between and then I had independent on the front with this truck I do have no suspension I was simply going to but I just thought I'd go the easy route and get the truck done because it's been a while since I've been building so yeah 
Overall, I'm very happy with it. I'll show you some driving of it if I can get it down with one hand. It's pretty fast. Yeah, pretty happy with it. I might add some, ca I have all five cab lights on it. And I might add some twin horns on top. That's later additions. Overall, very happy with how it drives. How it looks. Most will most likely add a fifth build to it in the future as well as a flat deck trailer to haul some of my other vehicles. Such as my Mustang and probably other trucks. I also have this all wheel drive vehicle plan for the future it's going to be like an 80s ford hopefully pickup truck um it has all-wheel drive drivetrain in the front differentials front and back it was quite a pain trying to figure out how to how to build it build all-wheel drive suspension and steering all on the same axle it was pretty difficult but i managed to do it so that'll be coming out soon and I also have this C cab here, or not a C cab, sorry, it's a 34, 34 Ford Model A with a 337 flathead in it. Cool looking truck. Not finished though, I really want to clean up the back a bit more. And then my other hot rod up here is a... Uh, 1930 Model A coupe, five window coupe, with a big engine in it. Not, nothing specifically on that one too. I'll probably make a video on that too, but we'll see. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.